And so the patients that would be good candidates for ICL are those who just have a way too big of a prescription to even consider doing any corneal surgery. Like you're looking at minus, yeah. minus 10 up to you know, minus 20 kind of, you're looking at those types of prescriptions there. Some people um, can get away with LASIK or PRK as a minus 10, others cannot, and they would have to go to ICL. ICL, it's a great option for some people. Vision quality is excellent. It's fabulous. Um, there are some downsides to it. I mean, it is intraocular surgery. So you're going inside the eye. Whenever you go inside the eye, there are a few more risks, more risks of infection, things like that. But, um, you know, the nice thing about it is, and I'm not sure if you know this, but when you do LASIK or PRK, these patients are not as good candidates for multifocal lenses when they need cataract surgery down the road. Oh, so no. I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, there's some multifocals that are are okay in those patients. But for the most part, multifocals and LASIK patients are kind of like a no-no. But if you've had ICL down the road, you need cataract surgery, take the ICL out, take the cataract out, they can get a multifocal. So that's another pro of it too. So there's, and you're not touching the cornea. 